Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Happy Tuesday to you. September 12th, 2017. This is the release day of NASCAR Heat 2. It was available uh, last night. Well, pretty much midnight. Had a midnight release for consoles, and then it was available this afternoon on Steam. So I am using the PC version. Uh, and uh, I did notice that the, uh, the controller support, the steering wheel was a little bit better with the final build uh, than the one we were using last night. I still dial it in, so I'll tell you my settings and all that stuff as we get in involved here. I'm not going to use the, the webcam or anything like that because the lights in here get so hot for you, be, for you to be able to see. So I'm not going to use the wheel cam or anything like that. We're just going to race. We're going to do uh, a 50% race at Chicago land. That's where they're at this week. But welcome to the stream. Hey, Chad. What's up, man? Jay back. Hello to you, Viper Snipe. 67. What's up, man? Zach Artisan. Anybody see where Noah Gregson bashed this game on social media? Personally, I think the game looks good. Yeah, I don't know if he was being facetious or not, but if he was, wasn't, then yeah, it's just bad news all around. I, I He's in the game, so I, I don't know why he would hurt himself like that. I really don't. So let's go ahead and jump right into the news. No, I'm kidding. We'll go right into the NASCAR heat. Get that open again. There we go. That works. And uh, let's see here. Yep. Rip Danica, uh, D-Rec 516. She was uh, announced today that she will not be returning to Stuart Haas next year. I'm not sure where she's going or if she's even driving next year. But what's even weirder about that is that Kurt Busch isn't, he doesn't even have a ride yet. So it's really hard to say. It is, it is. So in the controls, what are we doing here? We got the wheel settings. Uh, I have it on 900 degrees, all that stuff here. Uh, inside of the Logitech profiler, I'm running 600 degrees. And it seemed to be pretty good. I did use the um, the little uh, control launch config tool there. Uh, or use the config tool. And it was fine. So, uh, I I don't know. It just, it, it's just, it's a much better feel than it was yesterday. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but man, we couldn't we couldn't win. Uh, Screen-wise, there's my settings for the graphics. Uh, I did go into the NVIDIA controller and I made sure that VSync uh, is set to um, on because it wasn't by default. And I've noticed that I get frame dips if I don't do that. So we have the full version of the game. Let's do our age verification finally. So we can have our, you can see how old I am right here. I get that question a lot. There you go. Do the math. All right, am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. So now I can finally show you guys the beer sponsors. Actually, let me show them to you before we go um, any further. Uh, Mr. Kevin Harvick, he has some. Uh, Busher has them too. Let's go to Busher first so you can see the... Uh, uh, there it is, the natural light can car, the 37. I do like that a lot. Um, let's go to Kevin Harvick because he's got the awesome one. He's got that, yep, the Bush beer. Absolutely awesome. And then uh, Keselowski. Classic Brad Keselowski with the Miller Lite number two. Look at that. Uh, and there's even the Auto Trader and then that one. The Miller Lite number two uh, patriotic version with the checkered flag foundation on the side of it. That is actually quite cool. Oh, there it is right there. Sorry. They have a Brad K version of it. <laughs> and that's the one with the Miller Lite on it. So that looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, we're not going to be running them. We're going to be running the trucks tonight. Uh, the reason why is because I really need to get into the physics of the truck because that's what I'm going to be driving a lot in my career mode when I start. So we're going to do that. We're going to drive the custom truck, the 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 unsponsored number 28 uh, Chevrolet, and we are going to Chicago land. Here's our race settings, 105.50% uh, two times normal. Flags, all flags, three race stages, quick qualify race, full damage off, no manual, bam. Bam, let's go to the track. Let's get ready. It's going to be a long race today, so excited for that. We'll probably start my career, too, if we have some time after the stream, after this race. This race is going to be long, folks. It's a 50% race. Um, it's going to be a long one. Let's go to continue. Uh, I'm going to go to the uh, custom qualify settings here in the garage. Now I can mess with the garage finally. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
shocks I could bring them down in the rear but I'm gonna leave those as is we're gonna we're gonna adjust the wedge um, by default since this is you know for controller and, and newer players the wedge is right there at 50% and let me tell you the car setups by default are tight okay they are tight 45 is the lowest we can go let's try to go with uh, let's do a start with a 46 all right heights are good there all right cool let's go up this is pretty much identical to the last time uh springs there fine here we go left front i'm gonna drop those down uh left rear yeah we'll do that and then the right rear i'm gonna bring that up we'll start with a half a pound and we can work from there uh track bar on the right i could raise that if i wanted to make it looser grill tape um since this is for the actually this is for uh qualify so 100 percent wheel lock wheel lock here's something that's really 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 going to change the way it feels i have noticed um in steering offset so those two settings there you can play with to try to get it to feel good um in your hands rear sway bar everything looks pretty decent there we're just going to go ahead and save that setup for qualifying uh custom qualify essentially and we are going to go qualify all right, it's far. Go, 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 go. Reminds me of iRacing when I get out here on the track by myself to do qualifying runs. I didn't do group qualifying today. You can do that if you'd like. Just going to barely breathe it right here, get back to it. Pretty good there. Truck's feeling pretty solid right now. Pretty Joey solid. Yeah, it's the same thing as NASCAR Evolution. It doesn't let you uh, tape your, your truck all the way up or your car for literally one lap and it you're down on power like that that's not realistic at all that's bad yeah we're gonna change that hold on we're gonna we're gonna have another qualify run at that that's that's not good grill tape 100 percent let's go with 80. save it that's just yeah that was bad all right let's try that again because that was ridiculous i'm sorry but you you could get around this track a few times. And we can talk about things that I would like to see improved in the game. I, this is the most I've, I, I've got a lot of hours in this game, probably close to like 30 hours, honestly. So I think I have a pretty good feel of the full game, except for the career mode stuff that I wasn't, that I didn't have available to me. Um, so outside of that, Cautions really need to be worked on. We need some uh, caution flags for self spinners, including ourselves. Um, that would be nice. Updated engine sounds. These are the final sounds, and I don't really care for. You got to be kidding me with this temp thing. This is ridiculous. This car setups seem to have the same issue I had last year with the NASCAR Evolution. Uh, and that is this whole thing. I mean, you tape your car up. That's what you do when you do uh, any kind. What's the point of having grill tape if you can't even use it, you know? We'll save that. We're going we're gonna to finally get a qualifying session in here. I'm telling you right now. We are, we are. So I'd like to see that adjusted. Uh, I've noticed that with the final game, some of the gear ratios on some of the tracks by default are pretty short for fourth gear. And you have rev limiter you're going to be riding on, which I mean, that's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, tracks that you're pretty much on the rev limiter. And if you're not, then you're not going fast enough pretty much 
trying to get this truck to hook up in the middle. That, it's kind of working a little bit for us there. It actually feels nice, like the feel of it. There's that damn temp again. I give up. I don't get it. I really don't get it. What's the point of using any engine tape if you're not even going to be able to use it, you know? That's that's real strange to me. And dead last because because of that. Look at that. We're a second off the pace. All right, that that's a little frustrating. Um, we're going to go to custom race. And I am going to just only do... Only do a wedge adjustment. Entire pressure adjustment. We're going to start at 47. We might, might have to work our way down. Um, left front. We'll do that. We'll start. We'll start with the 30.5 on that guy there. Um, yeah, grill tape at 20%. I'm just gonna not even touch that. Honestly, I don't even want to risk blowing my damn engine up. So, we'll start here and we'll see what happens. Gun heads. Yes, I'm using a wheel. I'm using a Logitech G27. Ryan, thanks for that, dude. <laughs> get the tape out. Get the tape out. It's getting hot and hurt. That's hilarious. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's the money for in career mode? You got me, man. I haven't even gotten there yet. So I don't know. I don't. I don't. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, start our race. Here we go. Starting in the back. All right, so I changed that graphic setting. And uh, I'm getting stutters. Unfortunately. So I don't know what I got to do to change that. We got a long race ahead of us, so let's just be smart. Hold that steady wheel, you know. Try the high line for a little bit. Okay, Cobb, I'm right here. That was a dirty move. Dirty, dirty move by Jennifer Joe Cobb there. Pretty much nosing us right off out of there. I'm gonna open the leaderboard up for y'all. So you see who we're racing around here. Jennifer Joe Cobb, you gonna come up here and knock, chop me one more time? We're going to have problems. We're going to have huge problems. Let me get around some of the slower trucks back here in the, using the top lane. And then we'll probably migrate down to the bottom eventually. Ross Chastain getting a little loose coming off of turn four here. He kind of shot right up the track on us there. What a side draft action there on Chastain. Whoa, dude. Okay, Mills. These guys. That's a good way to get turned. Driving like that. Oh, no, I didn't like that. All right, it's time to get off this high lane. We're never going to get around Greenfield. I well, we got a pretty good run right here, though. Let's try the outside of Mills. And the caution flies. Not sure why. I would. That's one thing I would really like to see added. Would be the um, the addition of uh, caution replays. I know that's one of the number one things people have requested, and I agree. I didn't think I'd care that much about it because it kind of annoyed me in the old NASCAR games, but now I kind of want to know. I want to know why the caution flew and we'll have to see. All right, restarting here inside lane. That's good. Coming to the green. Green flag in the air. Oh, big checkup. Somebody spun the tires. 
That's going to be some damage to our truck. I don't know who spun the tires, but somebody just did not go. And what is, what is this? That must be who, uh, maybe he was blowing up or something. Yeah, he's all the way to the bottom of the track. Did we damage? Yeah, we damaged our truck. Of course we did. All that nonsense we dealt with there. Huge crash in front of us. Avoid it. Whoa. <laughs> we got right through it. Thanks for that. Hitting us after the caution's already out, you idiot. Ross Chastain. We're going to pit. We're going to pit and we're going to repair this damage. Let me try to take a little bit more wedge out of it. I mean, ridiculous. That was a huge crash there in front of us. We avoided it the best we could. So a rough start, but we're going to pit. We're going to start back in the back. I'm fine with that, to be honest. And we'll have fresh tires. So getting ready to take the green flag once again. Be ready for people that are going to spin tires here this time. And this time the bottom lane is actually rolling, so that's good. Draft with Chastain here, try to take that spot away from Brown. Not going to happen yet. Okay, Chastain, you're just asking to get crashed today. All right, I'm, I'm not making any gains on this outside lane and Brown is just blocking us from that bottom lane completely we'll just stay in line right behind Dowser for now trying to make a slight move on him here He is so lucky I'm lifting for him there because he'll be wrecked. Yeah, this outside lane's just not working for us. Make a move on Brown here. Let's try to get something rolling. Matt Crafton all the way here in the back too. He's got some issues early on in the race. He might have been caught up in one of those wrecks. I don't know. Take the apron line here. Three laps to go in stage one. I think all the racing is going to be done in stage number three. Quite possibly. Yeah, the wheel's a lot better though. Wow. Once you just, you go through that, you know, config tool and I set it to 600 degrees in Logitech, that was perfect for me. And what I have noticed is that the uh, steering sensitivity uh, option has a lot to do with the feel of it too. So if it still feels a little wonky from there, you can mess with that. All right, Peck, I'm just going to fall in line here for a second here. We seem to get some green flag laps in here. Let's see what we got. There is no penalty for going below the line. Only on a super speedway. It's totally legal to use the apron. All right, so we definitely have a long run truck. It seems it's starting to uh, come in pretty good for us right now. We're up to position or up to 20, 21st already. So that's pretty good. TJ Bell's got a lot of damage to the front of that truck there. I'm kind of waiting for the whole... You going to block me this early in the race, dude? Um, and that is going to be the first stage here at Chicagoland. Is anyone going to pit? Probably not in the first one, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone is going to. So we're going to stay out as well. 
and uh, we're gonna get that track position. So after 10 trucks cross the line in a stage, the stage uh, is done and the caution flag flies. So the field is frozen. That's the reason why you don't cross the line there. That's stage racing. We'll get ready to re-rack them and go racing once again. We're up to position, we're up to P20 here and we're getting ready to restart. In the outside lane behind JJ Yaley. Green flag. Two if we can. A two for one special. Hello. Everybody's kind of just finding their own line right now. I really want the bottom, but there's just no way to get down there right now. Got Shavis holding the bottom line as of right now. We got Yaley in the middle, and I'm kind of running the top. All right, everybody's kind of making a change here, so I'm going to drop in behind Yaley. Get there before Shavis. Nope. He was there to put a huge, huge block on us there. There we go. Got a nice run on Shavis. Let's keep that momentum rolling forward here in P18. Run the top here. 
That's kind of interesting. Got in the wall there on that one, though. So I need to back out my corner a little bit more to run the top. Like this. Somebody's going to be pitting. Oh, there's a few guys going to be pitting early here on this stage. Hmm. I don't know. We might, we might need to pit too. Yeah, I don't know. Top lane's not really doing much now. These guys are going to pit too. We have eight laps of fuel left. We'll finish it. I don't know. I think they're going to pit too. Yeah, we're going to get on pit road here. Everybody is. Everybody's on pit road. Everybody's on pit road. Inside, he's on your bumper. Yeah, I know. I nearly died on that. <laughs> I almost died. Two cans of fuel, four tires. Yes. Let's take some more wedge out of that. Let's just bring it all the way down to 46 there. Um, maybe blow up that, that right rear there. We'll try that as well. Um, uh, repair. No, 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 no. That's going to hurt our uh, our chances here at getting a decent time. Bring them to our boys right now. But yeah, we needed to we needed to come in here and uh, and, and pit. That way we didn't get trapped all the way in the back for track position. See, this is what stage racing is. It's it's all about that pit strategy and you know, who's going to come in first, who's going to come in last. Uh, can we go? It won't let me go. Okay. I don't know what was happening there. That was scary. Now we're going to blend. Blend back into traffic. Oh, hello. Without wrecking. All right, there goes Yaley, and we can come out here onto the track now. Back up to speed. Uh, the reason why we pit before the end of that stage is because they did. You know, if, if they're going to do it, then we're going to do it. Because I don't want to lose that track position I worked so hard to get. You know what I mean? Three laps to go on this stage, but now whenever the caution flies, we'll be able to stay out like everybody else, and we're not going to lose our positions. We'll see how, how this cycles out, but it's looking like we're going to be all right here in uh, P16. Yeah, the outside lane just was bad on those old tires. I'm chewing up Yaley. Because he's on older stuff. I think he stayed out, I'm pretty sure. We just posted our best lap out of too. How about that? Tommy Joe Martin's here. Just a couple laps left in the stage. One lap to go. Got that run on Martin's. Let's make it happen. flag flies is the end of stage two we made it all the way up to p14 we're gonna see who else uh decided to stay out and who's pitting so i think there's some guys up here that nobody is pitting doesn't look like anyone all right so we're not gonna pit either obviously we're just gonna stay out for our track position and try to get a good restart here that's what we got to do that's what we got to do here uh yaley exited with me thanks texas 347 I didn't realize that. That makes sense. We're bringing a Genfell character and a butter down. <laughs> Here we go. Green flag in the air. Thirty-eight laps to go. Here at Chicagoland. 
I thought I had something for Hill there, but I did not on that restart. This guy's just scooting around, man. Got to run on Hill. I'm going to take it to the outside. Been making that work all day for us. Oh, he got really slow there for a second. It's a pretty good fight here. Right in this area, right around 10th. Have a run on Smot Snyder here. I almost said Snyder because of Myatt Snyder. That was a hell of a move there to the inside of Austin Wayne self. And we're going to be just the inside of Young. Is it going to happen? No, it didn't. Got really close to getting that position off of Young, but we have a good run here coming through the corner, the, the middle of the corners there. Oh, a little bit of contact. Back to it. Gillen in there. We made it up here in the top 10 finally. Koffel right here. He's next on the list. He's got to keep working him over. Noah Gregson up there in uh, in the lead right now. Now we're working on Ryan Truex. Ben Rhodes, he stole a win from me at Talladega. Inside of Truex here, make it stick. Now we got to work down here on Rhodes. We have a shot at this win. We really do. I'll tell you what, that wedge adjustment was great. That worked out really well in our favor there. Going to be a tight race with uh, Ryan Truex right now for P5. He is really fighting us here on this one. I'll try a crossover move on him here. Oh, the contact! Hold on to it. Hold on to it. We're good. We're good. Oh, I don't know how I saved that. Woo -hoo -hoo! Really don't know how I saved that. I thought I was going to go around for sure. I thought, I thought it was gone, man. It felt like it was. <laughs> now I just got to run these guys down. We have a lot of laps to do it. We just got to really kind of hope for the best here with our tires situation. I've definitely, definitely figured out turn one. The key to turn one is that high entry. Well, I mean, the whole track is, but you know. But right now that I mean the truck just feels perfect after the uh, the wedge adjustment we made. So I'm just breathing that throttle, getting into turn one, and then committing 100% through it, and it's really really working out for us here. We are making gains slowly but surely on Truex. Let's try to get in the under a second margin here on him. As you can see, track position is so key here in, st in stage racing because once 
you know, your tires start to fall off there. You're, you're all on the same playing field. We are making gains. Ever so slightly. 28 laps to go. We got plenty of time to get up there and run with those boys. You're noticing they're all running just about a, a, a tire width off of the white line in one and two. And kind of the same here in this one. Enjoying all the racing action. Tomorrow evening we'll beat iRacing at Chicago Land in the Trucks. Hopefully we won't have another iPacing episode. I'm looking forward to that race though. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We have one more probably one more pit stop to make too. I would imagine. Everybody does. So we're kind of hoping we get a caution because, yeah, we have seven laps of fuel left before we have to pit. Uh, so everybody's kind of hoping for a caution here, but I might short pit the leaders here. I haven't decided yet. I don't know if it's worth it or not. We have to think about it here because we've got 25 laps to go, and I don't know how much a whole can two cans of fuel get will get me, you know? I think it roughly gets you around what 20 laps or so so i think we might be just short if we if we go less than two cans really hard to say but i might just do what the leaders do I might go with one can of fuel to get to the end hard to say though if anybody has any ideas I am open to them uh, if we yep they're uh, no nope. we're gonna pit the next time Twenty-three laps to go. I don't know how much a can of fuel gets me. Yeah, two cans would be safe to get to the end. I kind of agree with you there. And then we can hope for a caution. Hopefully we didn't speed. Hopefully we didn't speed. Two cans. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Two tires, no repair. I think we should do two tires. Well, and the caution flies. Oh, what does this mean for us? I don't know. The caution comes out as we're pitting. I don't know what's going to happen here. Wow. Just wow. And we're all the way in the back. Wow, man. We got screwed. Gotta get aggressive here. We gotta get after it, that's for sure.
Got a lot of racing to go here. I'm not really worried about it too much. 18 laps to go. of fuel is what they so they gave us about 22 23 laps of fuel truck right now I'll tell you that Today, I'll tell you that right now. A little contact there with uh, Cody Coughlin. He got us out of the groove. And Matt Crafton again. And we're going to put us in the wall, you jackass. Oh, if I get to your bumper, you're done. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah, we're plowing because we were on old. We only took two tires. We got screwed on that entire pit stop. here to the end. I'll tell you that right now. Side draft Cody Coughlin kind of worked out for us there. Crafton's coming for us. But Needs a quaffle here. Come no, on, there you go, bud. Ten laps to go. Now he's got to dig and hope for a caution. to go. 
13 laps of fuel. So we had plenty of fuel at the end of the day. That's good. here i'm gonna try though as long as they're side by side racing that's good for us that means that uh we're we'll able to catch them so we want them to keep racing each other hard because we're coming fast they're gonna be uh they're gonna be out of options if we can get to them we can pass them i think they stayed out i think they're on old tires that or they took no tires or hell, they could have just taken two like I did when they came down, uh, when the caution came out. It's hard to say. Got six more laps to go. We've got to be absolutely perfect here to catch these guys. Yeah, we got, we got, we're good on tires, man. We're going to try to get them, though. Five more laps. Come on. Those guys are racing hard for that win up there, so we need them to race side by side more. There you go. More side-by-side -side racing action. We are catching them. We are catching them ever so slightly here. That side by side racing's working. Keep doing it. So close. Two to go. We've caught the pack. We're gonna be get we're gonna be sniffing on that uh that draft now. Here on the back stretch. And they are side by side racing for the lead. I've got the draft. It's going to be a white flag here at Chicagoland. Can we get it done? Can we get to the back bumper of Ben Rhodes? We're coming hard on him. Here we go. Come on. We're coming fast here. Nemechek blocks us on the top lane. Can we get to Rhodes? Not going to be able to do it. Looks like Gregson's going to take it home first. Ben Rhodes second. John Hunter Nemechek there in third, and we're going to come home in fourth. 105 on that. Whoo-wee. That was crazy. <laughs> 
That was fun though, man. That was a fun race. Not gonna lie. Wow. Yeah, we got screwed on that uh, on that pit stop, taking the two tires. Uh, I, I don't know if it was giving us an option, but we could have backed out, you know, and and, and would have been good from there. Didn't seem to be the case, so I don't know. That was fun, though. Let's view the replay. I can speed it up with the wheel. Yay. That works now. Uh, I go to the end. Start, and that's the end. So back it up. I want to watch those last few laps that, or the last lap there coming down to it right here. That was pretty good. That's where I had just caught them. We were just being really smooth on that wheel. Got right there to John Hunter Nemechek. Couldn't get him to move out of our way. He blocked that top lane. And we came down, and, and that was close between Ben Rhodes and John Hunter Nemechek for second place. That was really crazy. Good race, though. I really did enjoy that. I mean, considering the race that we had, you know, we came back. We had that uh, adversity, that's for sure. So it worked out for everybody involved. All right. Continue. Race results. Um, if you want to see the results of the race when you're in this screen right here, you can hit B and it shows you the actual race results, which is pretty cool. So Noah Greg's in there with the win today. Uh, where did uh, Crafton end up after I got into him? Probably put, I just pushed him up the track a little bit. No, he was right behind me. He was coming back. Uh, not too bad, though. Very cool stuff. That was a fun race. Fun, fun, fun race. Uh, might do a small, a short, a, a real short race here. We have some time left on the stream. Uh, let's do... Mm -mm. Let's go online. See how drivers are online. I'm sure it'll be terrible, but you never know. Go to race lobbies, and we've got 7 of 20 here. Martinsville, that's our favorite. That's our favorite. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a mess. 20-lap race at Martinsville. It has their Twitch name in there. There you go. That's how you do it. I tell you what, you, you just get nothing but uh, self-advertisement everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Uh, SP is my speed points. I don't know why this guy hasn't started the, the lobby yet, or I guess they're still waiting on people, but I mean... Let's go. Like, when is it going to give us the... the ca oh, I think they're racing right now. They're two of 20 laps. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so we can't do that. Let's try... Uh, It's an AI race with this dude here at Atlanta. Uh, one time wear. That, that's it? That's, all, that's the only people that are racing right now? You got to be kidding me. That's pathetic. <laughs> Oh, man. Now yeah, we need more people on PC, that's for sure. Definitely need more people on PC. Uh, let's see here. Let's do Monster Energy. I'm going to be uh, Kevin Harvick. I'm going to be his uh, his Bush beer scheme. The thing is so cool. I'm going to be that. Where should we go? We're going to do a short race. Uh, let's see. Do. Do, 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 do. Could do Watkins Glen. Let's do Watkins Glen. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I do I have noticed that they have not 
I mean, the AI is still really bad here uh, in the beginning of the race, at least. On restarts in the beginning of the race. Hit continue. All right. Let's go ahead and qualify so we get a feel of the car. Oh, great. The uh, position of the wheel is all broken, so I guess we're going to be rolling with this for now. Until it fixes, if it ever does. Up to the gears, after the S's. Now getting, breaking into the bus stop, that's gonna be interesting here. I'm gonna try this. Third gear will work. coming off that corner there big time third gear in this carousel. I don't think I need to go down to second gear. Maybe. Yeah, third gear works there in the carousel. Watkins Glen, New York. Absolutely. Uh, I am using a uh, wheel. I don't know what's going on with this uh, camera FOV. I thought this was supposed to be fixed. And uh, here it is. I'm going to have to let them know uh, this is still not fixed. I'm sure other people will have the same problem. But I've noticed that it's not a problem with the, uh, the console build. On consoles, I've seen it. Haven't seen this problem. So we'll just roll with the... Go ahead, view here. Ready for the big breaks. Here it is right here. Every time. Yeah, the AI just lose their brains on the first lap here into this corner. After the first, it's okay. Oh, we got a spin in front of us. Hang on to it. Okay, they gathered it up. He really slowed down. DJ Kennedy really, really slowed down there. Jeffrey Earnhardt bombing it in there, man. Look at all that speed he carried through there. That worked out for him, though. Sorensen. That scared me, dude. You jumped in front of me. You, you probably gonna get spun. That's all. That's on you, Gase. Sorry, dude, but you, you just jumped right down in front of me. It's a very stupid thing to do. Got a huge run off that corner there. See, they don't they don't check up as hard as they do on the first lap it, as you can see so 
So AI on the road course is not the best, but definitely better after everybody's rolling, you know? Landon Castle got a little uh, loose there in the bus stop. That was interesting. So their braking zone's a lot different than me. McMurray goes around for a ride. That that was definitely my fault. I'll definitely take the blame on that one. And that is going to be the end of stage one. Rip JD McDuffie. Uh, David Land on YouTube. He uh, calls him McFlurry. I love that. It's hilarious. Uh, I'm not going to pit. And we're going to advance to the restart here. And be ready. I think they're all going to be pretty dumb on the restart in turn one, so we'll just be ready for it. Ready. And don't jump out of line ready. for the, the, the line anyway. Actually, that's much better. Yeah, that was much better. So it's only on the initial start of the race. This is a lot better here on the restart, at least. I think I got into Eric Almirola a little bit there. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Busher trying to avoid him. I don't know how much room Danica needs, but apparently she needs a lot there. He did not hold on to it, and I hit the wall, too, from that. He just checked up a lot harder than I thought he was going to. Yeah, I want to get a good speed rating here so I can set them to auto plus two here. I think that would be a lot better because 105 is just, at this track, they're too slow in some spots compared to us. So it, it's hard to judge that braking zone, you know? Yeah, it's still broken. That FOV. I did exactly what Larson did there. <laughs> it was like a monkey see, monkey do. and getting into each other there. We're going to try to capitalize on that. Kind of worked out in my favor, too. That was amazing. the end of stage number two so now we get to continue on and finish out our race normally nobody's gonna pit either i'm pretty sure we have estimated fuel 11 11 yeah we're good we're not pitting nobody needs to pit to the end of this race so let's go ahead and advance to the green flag and get ready to get underway once again here at watkins glen Attack with Blaney here getting down into turn number one and also the 77 of Eric Jones. Three wide into the S's. It's not going to work. Clint Boyer on the outside, not giving it up. Get around Paul Menard. Boy, everybody got checked up in the top of the S's there.
Got right around Larson there, didn't we? AJ Almendinger having uh, a good run there in P12. Trying as a wreck junior. Or oh, that's uh, Casey Kane. Like, wreck junior people will hate me forever. But yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty good uh, once they get going here. No Watkins Glen. And manually shifting it, uh, it works pretty good. Ooh, Kenseth got real slow there on that beginning part of the S's. Oh, grass, 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 grass. Get off the grass. Get off the grass, dude. Oh, my God. And we're done. Junk. Just huge junk. Huge, huge junk. Don't pit. Let's just finish this race out. Good God, man. You touch that grass, you're dead. Arrow damage. A little beating and banging there with a thirty one of Ryan Newman. What are you doing, Ryan Newman? For fuck's sake. He just checked up so hard that there was nowhere for me to go. Doesn't help we have aero damage and temperature damage now. This is great. Oh man, the car is just driving like trash now. Went from having a great car to nothing that quick. Really frustrating that this hasn't been fixed right here. That's just, that's ridiculous. I was hoping that that would be fixed. Cause I want to race in the inside view, but I'm not going to, if I can't see over the wheel, no way. I'm gonna be fighting for a top 20 now. So that arrow damage and temp, it really, really, really makes a difference. Got to baby this thing around the track for another two laps. We're just going to get run over. Yeah, look at that. Pretty bad. Can't even maintain 120 up the S's. Just terrible. Danica, you son of a bitch. I was really, really, really. I'll push you around. Yeah, get that caution. We're pitting and we're going to fix, try to fix this thing. We'll take four tires. We only need one can of fuel. I'm trying to make something happen here at the NASCAR overtime. Let's see what we can do. We've, ooh, I, they actually fixed the nose damage. I did not expect that. That was not a thing in the old build. Inside still broken, but that's all right. Whoa, big checkup. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take advantage of it. We're past the line now. We're past the line. I could get out of line if I needed to. We don't have a shot of the win, but we can definitely get up here in the top 10. Man, Trevor Bain with a massive move there, and then he can't hang on to it. 
after that. He ran out of talent really fast on the top of that hill. Close racing with Brian Blaney here. Oh, Blaney threw it down in there. He got really loose, too. You gotta be kidding me, dude. One lap to go. the grass again come on you just can't control it if you even touch that grass here at Watkins Glen yeah fuck you yeah it's all over for us that's it for us we tried both times we were bitten by the grass that that'll do it I mean you make that mistake of sliding up on that grass and it's all over And that's how it is. There's no grip in the grass. You can't race in the grass. But man, it's unforgiving. I'll tell you that. That's all right. We tried. I'm bringing it home P37. Absolute garbage. I did bad. That was no good. No good at all. Let's see here. Yeah, only a speed rating of 88. I got caught behind so many cars. Let's rewind this. I want to watch that wreck. That big wreck. Getting in the grass, man. That's all it took. We are up to the S's here. Oh, Clint Boyer got a little sideways there, too. And we just get real tight coming off the corner into the grass and it's all over from here. I couldn't even save it if I wanted to right here. It was done. And then I was racing, uh, I think it was Austin Dillon here and I got right on into him right here. Yup, there he went for a ride. We both did. <laughs> That's a good view of that. Oh my Lord, dude. Well, that's a shame. Let's start to the beginning here and fast forward a little bit. I want to see some of that racing we were doing earlier. That was actually pretty decent. Man, he got real squirrely there, the 33. That's when I went way to the outside to get around him. And I had to watch out for Reed Sorensen so I didn't wreck him. And I believe I get right in the back end of McDowell or somebody here. Oh, it was Joey Gase right here. He goes for a ride. I just gave him a little tap and he went sliding. That's a cool, cool shot there. Woo! That thing was moving it through there. I do like how smooth you can be with the wheel. This this is a little bit better. Like the the wheel is a little bit better than what it was in the last build, so that's good. Like I can do something with this for sure. The build we were we had yesterday that was a different story. So I was racing uh, the thirty four. David Reagan there. A 
We'll just finish out this lap here. Yeah, pro tip. Can't race in the grass, it turns out. We learned that today. Oh, that's where I took uh, McMurray out. He went... For, oh, man, he was way back there, too. And we had damage in the nose from that, and that was when the caution flew. So, anywho, guys, that is going to do it here for this stream tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun. That, that race at uh, Chicagoland was a lot of fun. I did enjoy it quite a bit. But that's going to do it for us. I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to do some iRacing at Chicagoland. So pretty much what you saw only in the iRacing world. Enjoy your evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.